If you've ventured onto social media in the past week or two, you might have come across the trending Ford's remarkable creation, the Very Gay Raptor. This extraordinary truck first made its appearance in 2021, but it has now returned to the spotlight, sparking a heated debate in the ongoing culture wars. What is Ford's intention for releasing this vehicle and what has it eventually achieved in the social world so far? Join us in this video as we explore this great invention from Ford. Originally designed as a special edition based on the second-generation Ranger Raptor, the rainbow-colored Very Gay Raptor was unveiled last year at the prestigious Goodwood Festival of Speed. Its purpose? To proudly show support for the LGBTQ community while simultaneously introducing the new Ranger Raptor in Europe. The inception of the Very Gay Raptor came as a direct response to a negative and homophobic comment they received on social media about their Blue Ranger Raptor, but instead of achieving the desired purpose, it has incited a lot of controversy attack and social media wars. In a video uploaded by the company, a commenter referred to the blue color of the vehicle as very gay. Instead of taking offense, Ford embraced the comment as a compliment and opted to build the very gay Raptor. They even received a suggestion to paint the vehicle black and gold, which they incorporated into the design. The result was a striking Raptor with a golden body and a vibrant rainbow livery, commemorating their 25 years of LGBTQ advocacy throughout Europe. Ford's decision to create the Very Gay Raptor was influenced by the need to address homophobic responses and redefine toughness in the automotive world. To facilitate this dialogue, they launched the Tough Talks video series, featuring Gareth Thomas, a former Welsh rugby player and openly gay individual. Gareth engaged in conversations with guests, shedding light on the fight against homophobia within the automotive industry. These enlightening discussions also took center stage at the Goodwood Festival of Speed, where live sessions of the series were hosted. The controversy that went on to surround what some call woke ads has sparked an uproar on social media, with right-wing voices digging into past commercials and promotions by companies advocating for the queer community. The storm extended to leave Bud Light and Ford at the center of the controversy. Bud Light's association with transgender personality. Dylan Mulvaney also helped charge the firestorm of backlash, causing their sales to plummet by a staggering 25%. Some stores have even resorted to practically giving away the beer for free after rebates. Just six weeks ago, transgender activist Dylan Mulvaney found herself at the center of the attack after sharing a social media post about personalized cans of Bud Light beer she had received. Republican Senators Ted Cruz of Texas and Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee even took the extraordinary step of asking the U.S. federal government to investigate the ad. They urged Anheuser-Busch's CEO to sever ties with Mulvaney demand a public apology, and compel her to delete any Anheuser-Busch content from her social media or face an investigation by a trade association. Not long after the Bud Light incident, Miller Light released an ad offering an apology for decades of sexist imagery in beer commercials. Comedian and actor Ilana Glazer also took the stage, enlightening viewers about women's historical involvement in beer brewing. However, this ad also faced criticism from conservative personalities who pointed to the previous Bud Light controversy as a cautionary tale. The discontentment, however, has spread like wildfire, with individuals seeking new targets as part of the so-called Get Woke, Go Broke movement. Enter Ford's Very Gay Raptor, a two-year-old truck that was introduced in Europe. Despite its age, a video from last year promoting the truck's redesign has resurfaced, rekindling the fury. The comment section has turned into a battlefield with harsh criticisms hurled at Ford. One disgruntled individual claimed to have had an appointment with a Ford dealership to order fleet vehicles for their company. However, after watching the video, they decided to take their business elsewhere, opting for Chevrolet or Toyota. Another person, hailing from a long line of Ford enthusiasts, swore never to buy a new Ford again. A witty observer even remarked that the very gay Raptor would pair well with a few cases of Bud Light, Conservative critics have taken aim at automobile giant Ford over the old advertisement that resurfaced online, sparking controversy. The ad featured a vibrant rainbow-colored Raptor truck, unveiled during Pride Month last year. Twitter user Philip Oliver Holtz, who identifies as an alpha male, shared the video clip on May 17th, gaining attention. Another user named Brian Michael had originally uploaded the video on TikTok the day before, expressing his belief that Ford had erased 120 years of American history in just one minute. Brian added the popular conservative phrase, go woke, go broke, to his post. 
Among those expressing their dissatisfaction was conservative political commentator Dave Rubin, known for his large YouTube following. Rubin questioned the rationale behind targeting a niche audience, suggesting that it didn't make sense to market cars to the LGBTQ plus community. He humorously wondered if gay individuals would walk into a car dealership asking, which one of these trucks is gayer? Do you have this in rainbow? Rubin's remarks echoed the sentiments of other conservatives frustrated with what they perceived as Ford's excessive wokeness. Ford's very gay Raptor sported a glittery gold body adorned with a rainbow wave stretching from the front to the back. The aim of introducing this next-gen Rainbow Ranger Raptor was to redefine the concept of toughness and proudly showcase Ford's support for the LGBTQ community. However, it also triggered conservative backlash, with critics accusing the company of focusing on identity politics rather than their core business. The online landscape has also seen a surge in videos attacking Ford, attracting hundreds of thousands of views. However, those looking to switch allegiances in their car buying pursuits might find limited options. Numerous automotive brands, including BMW, Jaguar, Land Rover, General Motors, Nissan, Stellantis, and Volkswagen, have proudly voiced their support for the LGBTQ community. In essence, those intending to boycott automakers for their LGBTQ allyship may need to start contemplating a more pedestrian mode of transportation. The clash between corporate choices and societal values rages on, leaving Bud Light and Ford caught in the crossfire. As the debate unfolds, it becomes clear that the fallout from aligning with marginalized communities is not without consequences. Only time will tell how these companies and their respective controversies will fare in the ever-evolving landscape of public opinion. Just like its predecessor, this awe-inspiring vehicle boasts a stunning multicolored livery, complete with a glitter-rich rear end that beautifully complements its rugged exterior. Underneath its sturdy bonnet lies the stock twin-turbo 3.0-liter EcoBoost V6 engine, generating an impressive 284 horsepower and 491 newton-meters of torque for its European variant. However, the Australia-spec Ranger Raptor takes it a step further, delivering a whopping 392 horsepower and 583 newton-meters of torque. Ford's very gay Raptor has become a symbol of inclusivity and progress since its release, shining a spotlight on the LGBTQ community and igniting conversations that challenge the status quo. It is a testament to the power of creativity and boldness, proving that strength comes in all forms and colors. Ford's foray into inclusive marketing has, however, ignited a contentious debate as conservatives question the significance of catering to a specific audience. While some view the Rainbow Raptor as a symbol of progress and acceptance, others argue that it represents an unnecessary and misguided diversion from the automotive industry's main purpose. As discussions surrounding Ford's wokeness unfold, the clash between inclusivity and traditional values remains at the forefront, sparking a larger conversation about the role of identity in marketing and corporate messaging. As the debate over woke ads rages on, conservative critics continue to voice their opposition to companies supporting the LGBTQ community. Nevertheless, brands like Ford remain steadfast in their commitment to inclusivity and use these controversies as an opportunity to promote dialogue, educate, and celebrate diversity. While some may call for boycotts, others applaud these companies for taking a stand, reinforcing the idea that societal progress often comes with resistance and backlash. What's your take on this issue? Let's hear your thoughts in the comments section below.